Hey, I'm Dr. Anna Maria Temple, your holistic pediatrician on call. And today we are talking about five things you can do if your children have been exposed to heavy metals in their baby food or formula because you didn't know. You don't know what I'm talking about? Oh, you need to watch my previous video where I talk about the congressional investigation and two other major studies to show that over 95% of the baby foods and formulas sold on the market are filled with heavy metals such as cadmium, lead, arsenic, and mercury. Hmm, not okay. I didn't know when my kids were little, but what do we do? So let's talk about five things to do and make sure you stay until the end so you don't miss any of these important facts. Number five thing that we can do to help our children detoxify from heavy metals is use binders. Binders, you say? Charcoal, zeolite? No, Mother Nature has provided us with binders in our food. So for example, did you know that tomatoes, blueberries, especially the wild kind, and garlic, don't forget spirulina, are amazing binders for heavy metals. So make sure you include these in your children's food on a regular basis so we can bind those heavy metals and not lose any more sleep at night. Number four way to detox our babies and children from heavy metals is by using blockers. Blockers? What are we talking about? Oh, blockers? What do you mean? Oh, well, again, Mother Nature has provided us with plenty of blockers in the nutrients that we get from our plants every single day, such as broccoli, beans, kale. These foods are very high in calcium and iron, which blocks lead absorption into our children's bodies. Don't forget to pair your iron-rich vegetables with other vegetables that are high in vitamin C to maximize iron absorption. Number three way to detoxify your children's and babies from heavy metals is by giving them cruciferous vegetables, such as cauliflower, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and kale. Why, you may wonder, well, these vegetables are powerhouse of glutathione. Glutathione is imperative to help our bodies and liver specifically detoxify from heavy metals. Number two way to detoxify your babies and children from heavy metal exposure is by using teas, herbal teas that is. In babies, you can use chamomile tea, which is a very gentle way to help detoxify the liver. Make sure you speak with your provider on how to do this safely. If your child is over the age of two, you can use dandelion root tea, which is also an amazing detoxifier. And if your children are over the age of four, you can use green tea, but they, it contains caffeine. So please speak with your medical provider on how to properly dose these various tea formulations for various age groups. And number one way to detoxify your babies and children from heavy metals is by using spices. One of my favorite spices is turmeric. However, be careful that you can have lead exposure from turmeric formulations. In fact, the FDA in 2016 did a massive investigation and found that tons of turmeric spices and turmeric supplements were full of lead. One way is to make sure that your product is actually coming from the US and give them a little call to find out if there's any lead. Why is there lead in turmeric? Oh, that's because to enhance its color and its weight. There are various tricks online that you can check out to see how you can test your formulation if it's indeed pure or carries lead alternatives. But always, always double check with a company and make sure it's a trusted source that third party checks their products that it's free of heavy metal contaminants because we don't need to add more heavy metals to a body that's already burdened from baby foods. I hope this was helpful to alleviate a little bit of your stress. Just remember, I didn't know that baby foods and formulas were laden with heavy metals when I fed my children about 19 years ago, but now we know, so now we can help detoxify our children's bodies so we can ensure that they grow up healthy in this unhealthy world. So if you found this video helpful, I would love for you to subscribe and comment below so I can come up with more content that will help you raise healthy children in this unhealthy world.